So I had the fun idea to look for different eye drawings all over all around the world to find out which country draws the easiest eyes. YouTube artist Viora made this video and she did which country draws the best eye and she did it on an iPad but I'll be doing it on paper. And with this we are going to check which eyes are the easiest to draw, even dotted eyes. Starting off Japan. Japanese eyes are very popular especially with their current manga animations and being an artist I have tried to draw one or two of them. Like every artist does this, if you don't do this as an artist, that ain't character lacking. I'm pretty sure most of you have already tried to draw Japanese eyes here or there, like I see tons of them on TikTok. If you haven't, you might wanna follow this because I'm not making a tutorial for you. There are millions, literally millions of tutorials. And you already know, for the entire thing I'm going to use my mechanical pencil which has nothing special in it, it's just like any other pencil i kind of made this part straight it's supposed to be curved so let me just correct that it kind of looks like a manga somewhere right uh -huh. adding details and shading is absolutely optional you might also want to add highlights i finished kind of fast so this one is easy moving on to russia so i've heard rumors that russians can make anything sound threatening kind of wonder instead of saying cute watermelon round eyes you'd say cute watermelon round eyes fluffy bears and pancakes you know, like hashtag russian accent so their pupil has very many circles followed by very cute eyelashes and had it somewhere personally i've never drawn in russian eyes anywhere and i think it's really cute that they have an eyebrow to go with their eye and if you may be wondering the shading technique i'm using it's actually hatching i'm using my finger to blend and then other details Okay, for the rating, this one is no kind of easy, I'll try twice. Moving on, three, China. So, I mean, yes. China has these like really cool eyes, but I personally think the Russian eyes are a little bit cooler. Even Mecca thinks so. I mean... So guys, this is Rehu in editing mode, and I really like to know since you made it this far. I'd like Hi. to know if you've watched Karate Kid, and if you noticed one or two, art materials or more like art pieces displayed in the movie. Recently, I rewatched the video and I saw one of them in the temple, which is kind of unique, you know. And the eyes that I'm drawing this video are not specifically to represent every country. Remember, every artist has their own unique style that they like to follow. This one has so many circles, it will help me draw perfectly. I need to draw perfect circles, seriously. I am already 10 minutes into the drawing and I just find it really hard to draw this one, especially the shading, the people are kind of hard to do. I didn't really get the exact thing, but this one is a rating of medium. Moving on to our fourth country, France. I don't like this eyes. I don't. I'm only doing it for you guys, market. So we're going to start, excuse me sir, forget about what we just saw. The start displayed by this artist is kind of simplistic. Which is actually good for beginner artists, especially artists who are trying to draw perfect circles. Hey, my circles are getting better. So three lashes, kind of cute, I like Mention it. Mention five things you like about fronts. Yeah, I thought so. Honestly, I love every country and my friend here will be laying on my French coat on the other side. Among all the eyes I've ever drawn, this was the easiest. As you can see, the technique is not really that complicated. I think it's really unique and quite beautiful. Medium easy. Korea. Face it, I'm not really immersed into Korea, but I do have quite some pictures that I really like to draw or try drawing them sometimes. I don't know much about Korea and drawing their eyes is not an exception. One thing I don't like about this is the fact that the eyelashes are barely visible. The eyeliner is very pronounced, as in you can clearly see through. You might be wondering why pictures are black and white. It's only because we want to see, or more like want to know, how much grading and how much shading we are to apply on different areas because we are using a black and white pencil. This is not colored. Honestly, I am really disappointed by how these eyes come out. Not being able to bring out the actual look really struck me to the heart. But instead, I think I did my best and I'm giving I'm going to give it a rating of hard. America. 
Sincerely speaking, American and Japanese eyes are pretty popular all over the world. Recently, I've just done a tutorial on an American eye. I know that the one violated is quite different from mine. But remember, there are tons of American eyes out there. Remember, America is a continent, and I chose Canada to represent America, so it goes with the artist. In some kind of way, I kind of feel it's gonna come out terrible. Viera's eyes are quite sharp, but mine look a little bit roundish. Anyway, let's get to it. We're gonna add some, some more details and then add our shading as normal as I did earlier. And if you have made it this far, I have a question for you. As you can see, the American eye and the Russian eye are literally facing each other. Tell me which one you think is the most beautiful. So guys, it's day two of this video and it's time for the award ceremony. Three, two, one! After drawing six different types of eyes, you must answer the question, which one was the funnest and easiest to draw? Well, as for me, Russian eye, Japanese eye, Canadian eye, or the funnest to draw, let me know which one you think I did the best. See you next week, bye!